Hello friends. Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw some examples related to the factorization of monomials, binomials and trinomials. Today, in this video, we will do an interesting activity related to factorization. Let us now discuss this algebraic expression in detail. This algebraic expression has three terms. We can represent the first term of this algebraic expression by the first figure whose area is x squared. We can represent the second term with these three rectangular shapes. The area of each of these shapes is x and thus the combined area of the three shapes is 3x. We can represent the third term in the form of these two small squares whose total area is 2. In this way, when the area of all shapes is added, the total area of the new figure obtained will be x squared plus 3x plus 2. Can you arrange these shapes in a rectangle or a square? Since this figure cannot be arranged in a square, we will try to arrange it in a rectangular form. Can you tell what will be the dimensions of the rectangle thus formed? Yes, the dimensions of the rectangle formed are x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. This means the area of this rectangle will be x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. Therefore, we can say that the algebraic expression x squared plus 3x plus 2 can be written as x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. The product of x plus 2 and x plus 1 gives us the same algebraic expression. Hence, they are called factors of this algebraic expression. So wasn't this an interesting method to do factorization? In this video, we learned about a method to factorize algebraic expressions. Hope you have understood the meaning of factorization well. Thank you.